In our video this week, the stages of disaster, they, the two counselors speak about what it looks like when a major trauma has been experienced, both individually and collectively. They use the example of the trauma that was experienced when the 2005 hurricane hit New Orleans, Louisiana, Katrina. In this video, they talk about collective trauma. And in this week's prompt, it also reminded us of that definition of collective trauma. Collective trauma is known as a blow to the basic tissues of social life that damages the bonds attached to people, attaching people together and impairing the prevailing sense of community. And we're asked to describe how that might be interpreted to someone who has just experienced a trauma. In our textbook, The Body Keeps the Score, Basil van der Kolk, I think that's how you say it, mentions that when someone experiences trauma, while the body wants to move on, um, per se, like in Katrina, the body wants to move on because it's put in fight or flight mode. Um, the brain is still trying to ensure the survival of the individual while experiencing or walking through the post-trauma stages. And so also, Basil Verden Clock, I think, also states that long after a trauma is experienced, um, if there is any hint of comparison or if there is something that happens past the trauma or the traumatic event that may occur, the body will be triggered the body and the brain will be triggered to act in the same way that it acted while the trauma first, in, when the trauma first incurred. Within chapter three of the fundamentals of crisis counseling, in the techniques area, Jerry Miller speaks about the counselor needing to be aware of themselves, aware of the situation, aware of where they stand in the situation, and to be cognizant of what the client might be facing within that moment. And they talked about the disaster of 9-11 and how people were at a heightened sense of danger. And so their behaviors might be different what they say might be different. They might be a little more erratic than they typically are. And so he said that the, the counselor needs to be aware of all of those things and also be aware of self within approaching a traumatic uh, counseling position. He also states that the counselor needs to check their ego at the door, being aware of um, being more empathetic than you would typically be when dealing with clients within a crisis or a traumatic, a major traumatic or minor traumatic situation. Question number two of our prompt asks us, what kind of impact may the stress of going through a natural disaster cause on mental health? In the video, they spoke about the disaster for the survivor and not the responder. And basically they stated how Survivors of Katrina, as they were going through the experience, um, they kind of experienced what they called a prolonged disaster period. Because of the rebuilding stages, the cleaning stages, and then just trying to figure out life after, they went through a portion of what is called prolonged disaster period. In our book, The Body um, Trauma, uh, By, the body keeps the score. It says that being trauma means that you continue to organize your life as if the trauma 
or still going on. This lets us know that after someone has experienced trauma, if triggered, because it also says that um, every time there's a new encounter or an event that is contaminant by the past, meaning anytime someone experiences a stressor or something that presents itself similar to what has happened to their body or their mental space in the past, um, it can cause a kind of like a flight or flight reaction or whatever defense mechanism that has been built due to that disaster or that trauma that was experienced. Um, it states they're basically saying that they'll continue to experience that due to it kind of mimicking what happened in the past. Okay. So what it has, the effects that it has on someone's mental health can be a array of things. Um, it causes us to reorganize. It causes clients to reorganize the way in which they function in the world. Um, it could have a, an effect on their social experiences with others, the way that they just move on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, it tends to change from a personal perspective. Um, experiencing a trauma has caused me to think things through differently than I did in the past. Um, I experienced someone committing suicide, which is a very traumatic situation. And it just caused me to take different steps um, with dealing with others, with dealing with myself and my well-being. And so others that experience disaster or trauma, the trauma can affect their mental well-being um, either negatively or positively. The number, the recovery process does have a number of stages that were discussed in the video. One being the pre-disaster stage, which is the stage where no one's really prepared for an, a disaster. They were speaking about Hurricane Katrina. Here in Houston, we just had a tornado and we were not prepared. We didn't know what that was going to do to us mentally. We didn't know the effects that it would have on us physically or um, economically, right? Until it actually happened. The next stages are the disaster stage, which I already spoke about, which is experienced by the survivor and not so much the responder, which it would be the clients in our case and not typically us, unless we've experienced it as well. And that's where they talk about that prolonged disaster period. The next period is the heroic phase, which is when resources, rescue workers, community helpers, i.e. therapy, i.e. therapists or other community organizations and media attention are brought to the forefront. The honeymoon phase, which is the phase where all the aid is there, the encouragement is being given to those that are survivors or those who experience the trauma. Um, and just that time period where survivors are reassured that you can make it through this disaster. And then one of the final stages is the disillusion phase, which is the phase when the true impact of the disaster takes its toll or works in a different way with those who have experienced the trauma and survived the trauma. In this phase is when you see people are dealing with mental health struggles because of if it's a natural disaster like Hurricane Katrina, those economic disadvantage, people who already may not have had as much, losing everything, the time period where they're um, trying to figure out what they're recovering, um, a time period where resources decrease because there's not as much attention on the disaster or the trauma that has been experienced by the client. In this video, I referenced 
The Body Keeps the Score by Bezel Van Der Colt. And then I also reference Fundamentals of Crisis Counseling by Jean Miller. And I also reference the YouTube video from Houston Christian University um, titled Stages of Disaster. Thank you.